Alright. Tuna is cooled and ready to be broken apart. Let's move this out of the way. Now to do this, I don't chop it or use a food processor or blender. I use a fork and my hand. And you just uh, crumble it up. It takes forever to do it this way, but you end up with a bunch of different size pieces instead of that minced, chopped, food processed kind of meat. You can see the, the small pieces it leaves. And it also, you know, you get the little the little tips, they stay together. You get nice big chunks of meat in your, in your dip. It just takes a little time. You just move that fork back and forth. And that way you come up with a big variety of different size chunks. You can see. Tuna's all shredded. You can see there's nice big chunks. Small stuff, big stuff. It's all shredded uh, tuna. So next, we will come over here and saute one onion and some olive oil. I don't know how much to put in there. Maybe a couple of teaspoons. Now we'll cook this down until it's uh, the onions get clear and a little camera caramelized, I guess is what you call it, when they kind of turn brown. And uh, right before I'm done, I'll put a teaspoon of minced garlic and cook it just for a few more minutes with that and pull it off. Now the onions are cooked down. We're going to add one tablespoon of minced garlic and cook that in. Let it cook for a few more minutes. Okay, that's done. Now we're going to set this off the fire and let it cool. When the onions and garlic cools, we're going to add it to this bowl, which has the two pounds of tuna, a quarter cup of chopped chives, and four eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. That's 32 ounces of cream cheese. All right, it's cooled down enough. So we add that to the, to the cream cheese tuna mix here. And now we fold it all together with my favorite tool our hands. Make sure you leave the cream cheese out and uh, let it get room temperature. Now I have four pounds of tuna dip. Basically you have two pounds of meat and two pounds of cream cheese. What I will do with that is put it in a pan like this with saran wrap and put it in the freezer or a fridge and then cut it into blocks and freeze it. Now that it is hardened back up in the fridge, you can slice it and 
you can see the nice big chunks of fish and onions throughout and that is how I make smoked tuna dip now that I've made four pounds of dip I will portion it out into you know party size and rainy day size for me and put it in the freezer and date it the day I caught the fish or the day the fish was caught well that's uh, my version of smoked tuna dip thanks for watching